Hello YouTube. Today we're going to discuss something that is in every umpire's ball bag, but generally is taken for granted, and that is the plate brush. Every single one of us have them. And, well, there's a lot more variation out there than most of us realize. This is your generic plastic plate brush. It's wide enough that it takes five, six sweeps across the plate to clean it off. It's got short bristles and it fits in every single one of our ball bags. Well, I was thinking that there's another possibility and there's other things available. So the second ball, um, plate brush I bought was this one. It's called a holy brush and it has a couple of nice additional features. One, it has this edge here to scrape the plate. As we all know, we have plates covered in mud with the rainy season. And for softball, which is what I do, there's this convenient hole here, two and a quarter inches across to measure bats to make sure that they're not using a little league bat, but they're actually using a softball bat. I don't know what this shape is for, but the bristles, typical bristles, it's about the same width as the other plate, but I don't carry it in my ball bag all the time because this width here across is generally too wide to stick in the little pockets that you have in your typical ball bag. So I went back to the original one I bought. Well, later on, I bought a wood, wood handled one. I thought it'd be great. It's a little bit wider. The uh, bristles are a little bit longer. It might be easier to clean off the um, plate. This is an ASA one from my USA softball slash ASA softball training. But again, one of the things I found out about this one that I found rather annoying, it's basically the same width as the one that you used to measure the bat, and it doesn't fit in my ball bag. So, <clears throat> that one got scrapped. And I went back to the original. Recently, I picked up one of these Japanese plate brushes. It again also has a neat feature here to scrape the plate. It's narrow enough to fit in my ball bag. The bristles are a little on the shorter side and roughly the same width as your generic plastic plate brush. So, um, I kind of don't use it because one, it is physically smaller than all the rest as you can see from the side-by-side -side comparison but it does have this neat edge to scrape off all the mud but there's not a whole lot of here bristle wise it's, it's kind of generic so the thing that I found uh, most useful is based on a suggestion from another umpire a Japanese style plate brush as you can see it's significantly wider than your typical brush. In fact, it's almost three times as wide. You've got a neat edge here to scrape the plate. It comes with a convenient holder that you can stick this on your belt so when you're working the bases, you can brush off the pitching plate as well as um, the other bases. And it's narrow enough to fit in your ball bag and not be as wide as these guys. Anyway, uh, the only dilemma with this is they're only available pretty much at least as I can find on eBay and they're about 35 bucks a piece shipped. Um, I don't know if we're gonna find a local distributor but this is my new go-to plate brush. Anyway, thanks again YouTube. Check out my other videos on the channel. This is the Concrete Panda checking out. Bye.